It's G for I. We got you. Subscribe to our channel. Hello folks, welcome to our HCSA exam prep by GFRI. On this section, we are solving issues most people face with containers. This video will be exploring running containers as a system day service. Or in simpler terms, let's say making containers start automatically after a reboot or making containers persistent across reboot. Please subscribe, like and click on the notification bell as this will help us stay motivated and definitely work on more topics. So let's get right into it. Running containers as a systemd service. So by setting up a system service file, we make containers easier to manage because containers in their default behavior are destroyed if the system is powered off and powered back on, right? That doesn't make it really good. So by creating a unit file, we can start, stop, check status and manage containers as any other Linux application, of course, using systemd. But you see, the problem here is that using the systemctl command to interact with systemd, you need to be a privileged user, right? Either you root or you have pseudo privileges. But with containerization, we are running containers as rootless. That is not being the root user. Using systemctl command in a particular way or with the dash dash user tag allows us to interact with systemd and be able to manage our containers. Right. So when you do a systemctl dash dash user, then the normal systemd commands or systemctl options that you always use, you will be able to interact with uh, systemd and run your containers in your own namespace. We will demonstrate this in six steps, six simple steps. Now, let me bring up one of my slides. Okay. So these six steps, we have uh, the first step, which is run the container, right? So for you to create a system service file, you need a container that is running. Then you make a directory dot config system D user this dot config will already exist so you just make the system d and the user directory then you cd into that user directory create the unit file start and enable that unit file that you've created then you enable linger then you're done right let's start by creating a user user at json password json Right, let's give Jason a password. Great. I clear my screen. All right. So let's SSH to Jason at localhost, which localhost is the server. Very important to SSH because once you SSH, your full profile is loaded. If you don't SSH and you do an SU, you will be getting a lot of errors. So if I do a portman login dash dash get dash login, it tells us that we are not logged into any registry or into registry.access.redhat.com, which is our default registry or the first registry that is in slash Etsy containers registries.conf. So let me clear my screen and do a portman login. Who do I want to log in as? Let me call it YouTube. Any name will work with access the red hat. I think so. I give the password. Succeeded. If I do a portman login now, dash dash get dash login. Right. You see right there, I am logged into a registry which is my registry let's take a scenario that we want to run httpd and make it persistent across reboot so i do a portman search httpd let me pipe it and i do a head let me head 
dash three. Right. I don't want too many containers. I just want the three first containers and I will take one of them to run. So let me grab this container right here. Let's do a portman run dash D dash just name web server. Then paste the name of the container image. If it doesn't find the container image, then it will pull the container image. I would have used Portman pull then run it. But when you do this, when you do a Portman run, it checks if the container image does not exist. It pulls the container image. Then you can use that container image to run your container. So it's trying to pull the container image right now. Let's give it some time and see what it will do. All right, now it's downloading all the data. Great, not only did it download, but it download the image, but it did run it also. If I do a portman ps, our container is running. If I do a portman images, this is our image right here. Okay, so now let's create our container is running. The first step is checked. Let's check the first step, right? The first step is checked. Now the second step is make directory dot config system D user. As you can see, dot configs I said is already existing. So if I do an ls dash la, you see dot dot config right here. So let me clear my screen and do an ls dash la. So I make directory dash p right if it doesn't exist make it dot config what systemd systemd dash user directory down so let me cd into it right as we rightly said you cd into the directory i cd into it now this is where most people get confused so pwd um, inside the directory I created so when we cd into the directory I have to do a portman ps to see my container that is already running right to see my container that is running because I need the container name in order to create the system the system service file so what do I do I make a pwd to make sure I am here, right, in the directory that I created. And I do a portman generate. What do we want to generate? A systemd service file, the name of the container that we want to generate the service file for, which is web server that's running already for three minutes, as you can see it right here. We want to create a new file, dash dash new then we want to exit it we want to send it out as file great if we do an ls dash la this is the container file right here next we do a system ctl daemon reload great you see now it's telling me i need to be root to do this so so this brings us to what we were saying you need to use dash dash user to be able to use the system ctl for yourself so if i call my command back and put dash dash user oh it works now it's reloaded and my file is now being considered we did a system ctl dash dash user daemon reload for it to reload and read the service files that it has right next system ctl dash dash user enable dash dash now this will make it to enable and start the container at the same time now that we reloaded the systemd daemon for our profile right for our user profile then to make sure that uh, our new file is being read the next thing we need to do is just to start it so we do a system ctl dash dash user enable dash dash now 
then the container name which is container.service.this great created a sim link created the, it enabled and started the container if we do a system ctl dash dash user dash dash dash, dash user status uh container.webserver1.service right right here we see it running and it is enabled that means if we reboot this system then it should come up but we are not yet done right because we need linger to be able to be enabled linger once linger is enabled we are good so if i do a login i clear my screen now if i do a login cto login ctl show dash user who user json you see linga here is no we need linga to be enabled so we do a system ctl no sorry a login ctl enable linga if we bring back we show our user ATS. Great. Now if I do a portman PS, our container is running, right? For about uh some minutes ago. Now let's exit and go back to root. Then reboot. Now our system is rebooted. Let's log in as user JSON and uh, see if we have a running container so i ask you dash json now i'm using su for you to see the errors when your complete profile does not load so let's do a portman ps great we have a container that is running that's good so let's cd to dot config remember the directory we created user sorry system d user and in here let's list right this is our system service file we copy our system service file name and do a system ctl dash dash user status then our service file name great watch what happened we had a failure right fail to connect to boss no medium file if i run it again the same thing but now if i exit i do an ssh to json add local host give json's password great i cd to dot config systemd user i do an ls this is our file right here, container.service, and I call back our command, right? Let me just call the, the same command. Great. You see, now it works. So SSH is very, very important. So your full profile can be loaded. And this is how you run containers or you manage containers with systemd, making them persistent across robot. Like, subscribe. Bye.